pencil properly comes by the age. So please don't force a child. Don't force a child at any age. So let's talk about the age-wise development. When a kid is 10 months old, they used to start with the pencil grasp. So this is called a pencil grasp. Yeah, but, yeah, okay, fine. Yes. 
So always use a triangular shape. This is the picture we are going to show you. So it is always advisable to use a triangular shape pencils, not the circular ones. With the crayons also you can use fat and the thick ones or you can use a marker or you can use a gauze pencils. Let me show you the gauze pencils. So this is the one. Why we use gauze pencils? Because they actually are smaller in size and the smaller the pencil is and the better the grip is. They will hold it better. One is always show the child to show the three fingers open wide like an alligator mouth. Can you show me your alligator mouth a bit? That's the very one like this. Okay. Next is using a pom pom. Where is your pom pom, Abhi? Can you hold the pom pom in your hand? Can you keep this toy aside? Okay. Yeah. Two pom poms. This one in your hand. Hold it with these fingers. Yes. And hold the pencil. Can you show us how you write? So this is the one using a pom pom. Don't worry if you don't have a pom pom in your house, you can always replace it by the cotton. So let me show you with the pom pom one more time how we use it. That's the one. Holding it light. Can you give it pencil? Like this. No, it's sharp. I'll just sharp it. Normal rubber band. Rubber band, but this kind of rubber band. 
Okay, we have move pencil. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's how we move that one. With this rubber band, what we can do is we'll take both the rubber bands. Yeah, I'm drawing. Make it make this one smaller. Like this. One side should be bigger and one side one side a little bit smaller. make a little bit loose one this is the pencil it will go here first the bottom will go bottom and then as a child to hold the pencil put on the painted area yes just again we can lock it Between your thumb and your index finger. Okay, wait, can you give me your hand? No, fingers. Thumb and this hand, point of finger. Take the pencil downwards and from the back side it will come like this. I'm so sorry. Oh, this is sharp. Yeah. Then get to don't sharp up. This was the ninth step, easy peasy that you can do. I will show you this one again how to do that. Of chalk, a bit can you hold it. Yes. Three fingers. How to, how you want to write? Yes. Or if you don't, don't have it. it, sorry, a bit. It's not anywhere. Yeah. No point. Point. Yeah. Or we have this kind of thing to hold a small chalk. You can push it here. And you can bring it back forward. It's little, actually fat. Easy to grip and hold. Yes. Try all the above. 
already uh, showed you you are not you will not need to buy this from the market for sure the above things will definitely help your child to hold the pencil properly so let's talk about the activities activities help to strengthen the child child muscles and the wrist so the very first thing you can use the cloth pen uh, tabi can you show this how to hold like this in two try it Open, close, open, close. as a child to hold with the tong tongs and tweezers when is uh, cloth pen then tweezers then tongs you can have a dropper activity use eye droppers even you can use spray bottles to water the plants or the stem activities stem pen uh, if you don't have stem is okay so as many kids used to complain about their hand pain Trust me, they are not telling you the lie. Some kids really feel it. So if we already have few activities done in our future, in our channel as well, so please just do that one. It's very easy, simple, quick. One activity is fine motor skills. It will definitely help your child. And this one of the third or fourth uh, fine motor skill activity, I am going to show you. There are three gymnastic activities for your kids to perform at home. That it will help them to hold the pencil properly. So let's start. So the very first gymnastic is pencil bat. Place a pencil, hold between the fingers, and just ask your child to roll like this. The second one is inchworm. Abir, you remember inchworm? Yes. 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 Do that with your fingers. No. Forward. I'll show you. This is the pencil. Three fingers going back, forward, back, and forward. Yes, you're doing the correct way. Yeah. This is called inch walk. Especially who is doing the homeschooling this year. 
one tip for those who actually used to press too hard when they write. The best way is just to put a weight at the end of the pen or pencil. You can put the cap or you can put the clay at the top. So we will present you soon with our handwriting warm up exercises in our next videos. Please just don't do only worksheets, worksheets or books. Encourage your child, check your child's interest and hobbies. It could be anything, coloring, painting, dancing, singing, anything. I hope this video helps you how to teach your kid to hold pencil properly. And at the end of the video, hope you all like it. Thank you for your love, comments, messages on FB, Instagram, WhatsApp. Your messages always makes us happy and always motivate us. And we bring you with easy stuff, fun activities. Right, Abhi? Yes, in our school, in the academy, uh, yeah, we are going to give answers. <laughs> yes. Big yes. yes. answers. Yes. Long answers. Thousand answers. Okay. So, if you are already a subscriber, please like and comment. And if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe it and share with your friends and family. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.